So, long time coming. We're gonna do a three, four part video on my trend reports for the rest of the year into the first half of 2020. Was it the four? What year is it? It's 2023. Is it? Yeah. Has it been that all year? If that's how it works. I thought it was 2022. Nope. Okay. Well, 2024 is coming up and I'm in a unique position to kind of call trends out as I see them because, you know, unlike all these hugely unqualified buyers who work for all these companies and stores and they do a buy once, twice a year, I do this shit every single fucking day. I see what's coming. I see what's going. I see what people are talking about. I'm in the streets, talking to people, kissing babies, shaking hands, doing all this shit. So I'm going to give you a few trends, fashion and non-fashion, just what I see in the zeitgeist. I'm also chronically online and we're going to go from there. The first trend, real milk. Here's the thing. It's like, yes, some of it's full of seed oils. Yes, some of it's owned by BlackRock and fucking militant groups and like Raytheon and shit. The reason the seed milk is going to fall off is because it's too much bandwidth to try to figure out what seed milk someone has, what fucking you know, like what kind do they use? How's it gonna taste in this? Regular milk, I'm mainly talking about coffee here, but also cereal. Regular milk is just so much less bandwidth to figure it out. You know it's gonna be like kind of gross, but fine. I mean, milk is gross, don't get it twisted. At least you know what's in it. It's just fucking milk, right? 2% is good for cereal. I would say whole is good for fucking coffee, but 2% will work too. Fuck all these seed milks and all this extra fucking like, who got time to figure this shit out? Who got time to figure it out? I don't. So just regular milk, just put milk in my fucking coffee, please. Big milk, hit me up, bro. We can do a fucking one of them mustache commercials. Thermals, big coming back. Whether it be like wearing a thermal, the tight thermal, wearing a thermal under your fucking polo as like a long sleeve shirt, wearing a fucking thermal under your tee, wearing the young Jeezy thermal I had. I got a G unit thermal that's gonna drop soon in the store that I bought off of a kid, vintage one. Even you see like Inlist, Givenchy, like a bunch of people have like been building shirts with thermals already built in. So all the people who are putting thermals on now, head of the curb, you can see it a lot more. It's gonna feel like 2003 again. I used to not even have long sleeve stuff. I would just run a thermal under all my clothes because all my clothes were 3XL because it was 2004 or whatever the fuck, you know, it was in high school, so. All right, freaky boots. Some of these I think are on trend. Some of them might just be me pushing an agenda because I'm into it. Freaky boots are front and center of this crossroads. You know, I got the Santiago Balenciagas. I like, you know, fake Yuttas. We'll talk about Yuttas later, but freaky ass boots, crazy boots, you know, like that's, that's just like what everyone's gonna be on. Why you wanna like have the same boots as everybody else when everyone's making insane shit that looks fucking cool with your big baggy pants or whatever you got on. Pros, they look fucking sweet as hell. You're like you're in The Witcher or some shit. Cons, they're probably uncomfortable. Boots in general are uncomfortable. You know, obviously I'd rather wear a pair of Asics, but you know, form of a function, baby. You know, fuck my Achilles. I'd rather fucking look sweet. Big one. Sick of fucking smash burgers. Non smash burgers are back in this year. I've been going to Balthazar, Valentina around the corner, fucking Odeon, Lucien. Anywhere with like a real actual burger is gonna be better than a fucking smash burger. Smash burgers are greasy, they're gross. I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong. They're kind of, all burgers are kind of gross, but like, I don't know. Like, I'm over the smash burger shit. I, every time I eat Shake Shack, I feel like I'm going to fucking die. Shake Shack and that Sticky's place are the two places that anytime I eat it, I legit feel like ill. Like I feel infirmed every time I eat that shit. So a big, nice, thick burger, way better. It comes with a shit on the side. You can kind of dress it how you want. Put some caramelized onions on there, a little bit of mayo, maybe some mustard. Get it however you want it cooked. You know, I'm just now starting to eat my burgers medium. They're good. I was eating them well done for a while. You are a sick fuck. What? A <laughs> well done burger is Listen, insane. Listen, you had to fuck. Uh, there's something gross about like pink ground beef, but you kind of got to get back into it. So. Fuck the smash burgers, go to a real restaurant, order a fucking real burger. Uh, cottage cheese. It's gonna be the next superfood, the next like dime square head ass. They sell, they sell it at dimes already, I had it the day it was gas. But yeah, cottage cheese full of protein, delicious. You can make it sweet, you can make it savory. You know, yes I'm white, so I'm kind of biased when it comes to this, but cottage cheese is gas and it's gonna be the next like big superfood, mark my fucking words. Pros, high protein, delicious. Cons, eh, it looks gross. I feel like all my food trends are kind of dairy based, you know? You're really pushing dairy, OD. Listen, dairy's back. I'm not even a dairy plant, dairy is back. People were anti-dairy for a long time. It's like the same thing as like eating like one of those fucking impossible burgers. Like who knows what the fuck's in that shit? It's gross. You might as well just eat a fucking real burger and who knows what's in these fake yogurts and shit. It's gross. It's fucking ground up fucking seal bones and shit and who knows what else. You know what's in dairy that's what i'm fucking getting at 
Real cigarettes, been on this. Camel specifically. I'm counting vaping and American spirits under the same umbrella of bad. Fuck American spirit. I hate Marlboros, I hate American spirits, I hate vaping. All those things are out this season. Camels are the only cigarette worth smoking. Camel Blues, best cigarettes on earth. Delicious, smooth, they don't burn too slow. Vaping, terrible for you, way worse for you than cigarettes. I've talked about it before, talk about it again. All you fucking people who are vaping all the time are gonna fucking drop dead in five years from this shit. <laughs> Mark my fucking words. When you're fucking next to your man and he just drops dead because he's fucking been puffing down a strawberry shortcake flavored goddamn elf bar for six years, know you're next, bro. It's fucking bad. Don't do it. Smoke cigarettes like a fucking adult. Deal with the consequences like a fucking adult. I guess that's all for now. Any final, final words on Luke's fucking nasty almanac? <laughs> Trip report. We're going to be doing pre-orders for, for physical copies of this, so stay tuned. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. All right.